Hi y'all, welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is April of April Dooley Me. If you're one of my YouTube besties, hey girl, hey, welcome back. My name is April, I've been married for seven years, housewife for about four and a half, and me and my spouse have decided to start to try to have a family. There's the intro. So we are not at home, y'all, if you could tell. We are at a hotel. I don't know where my glasses, there my glasses are, ciao. I lose my glasses every 15 minutes. But anyway, we are at a hotel. I decided to tag along with my spouse on a business trip. And we're in a hotel. This is the Hilton or the, um, no, it's the Embassy Suites. I think it's a Hilton brand or whatever. Girl, not my cup of tea. I would give this hotel about two and a half stars. Ooh, I'm so bougie. Um, it's just like, it's seen better day. Um, it's a little rundown. I bet it was popping in the 70s. I bet it was popping. It's a little bit rundown from what I'm used to. Y'all know my spouse kind of spoils me. This, this is the business trip. This ain't on our ticket. Yeah, but I'm gonna make the best of it. I just didn't want to be a part where like, I don't know why it feels like we're in our honeymoon stage again. I'm loving it, but just didn't want to be a part. So she is out and about taking care of business. I have y'all, look at that. Three brown sugar boxes. I have just been so far behind. I'm three months behind. So I brought these along with, so I brought those along with us and I'll do, maybe I'll do one in this vlog and then I'm going to just do a dedicated video i think that's how i'm gonna swing it i'll do one in the vlog i'll open one and then the other two i will do dedicated video for i mean going back to the room the layout is is bomb because we're in this like living room front room situation you see how see what i'm talking about and then there's like the kitchen bathroom area then it goes into the room that layout is good it's just that it's just it's seen better days you feel me? It seemed better. Day. Then you have this situation, which is like it doesn't face out. All of the rooms face like in like a courtyard situation. So you can see like the dining hall and all that, which I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that. Like it's very convenient, but then also it's like, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining about the room. I'm gonna turn this air on, child, because it's a little stuffy in here. I turned it off because they have it preset at like 60, preset at 68, and we don't know how to turn it up. So I just turned it off last night because it was freezing. But I need some acylation in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my shower, get dressed. I just, I think the last clip I showed you guys, I was downstairs eating breakfast, a little free breakfast. It was a little, it was a little decent, it was decent. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. Then I'll come out and open a brown sugar box with y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back and I was a whole liar. Took shower, washed my face, did everything, and I just been basically chilling, <laughs> reading this book right here. I love this author. She like, like if you like snapped and stuff, like girl, get her books. I just been sitting up here chilling. I didn't want to give y'all update on the whole infertility thing. So like I said, I needed a prior authorization. I talked to the nurse at the clinic and I was like, I feel like there's a disconnect between you guys and the pharmacy and the insurance. And all I can do is tell you what every other party is saying. When I call the insurance company, I have to tell them what the uh, pharmacy and the doctor is saying. When I call the pharmacy, I have to tell them what the doctor is saying. And the insurance is saying when I call the doctor, I have to tell them what the pharmacy insurance like. It's y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm playing telephone. And I told her, I was like, it's getting frustrated. I'm doing all the legwork, y'all are the ones prescribing the medication, dispensing the medication, and basically trying not to pay for the medication. I feel like I'm caught in the middle, so do something. So, basically. After I did that, like I, and we've been communicating most of the time, I would say 95% of the time is through their little portal, which is a great thing. I don't like talking on the phone necessarily when I don't have to. I'm a texter, I'm an emailer. Um, I get back to you when I get back to you. Plus I like to have everything in writing. You know, I'm from California, true Angelino. If I need to take somebody to court, I got everything in writing, okay? So, um, I'm sorry. I had a snack and I have a crumb in the corner of my mouth. But 
yeah like I prefer everything in writing so that was been that was a fine way of communicating I felt like but you know once I get irritated <laughs> I'm either gonna roll up I'm queen pop up or I'm gonna call you I don't like to do the pop up unless it's like the final final straw so I called this nurse and basically told her that like I'm in the middle y'all need to huddle up and figure out what's going on because I can go to a different doctor basically I'm not trying to be like threatening or um you know but it's getting to that point like it I'm why am I the one doing the legwork I told you what my insurance said they did and did not cover if you wanted if you wanted them to cover it this is what needs to be done gave you the telephone number downloaded the form off the internet gave it to what else do I need to do type of situation that's just really again I know that's not my it's it's I'm not their only patient I'm not the only one in there trying to get pregnant. I'm not the only one in there that has an insurance company that's being difficult. I I fully, fully understand that. However, you ignoring what's going on or ignoring me or just not doing what I asked you to do when it is protocol to get this paid for will, will set us up for a very uncomfortable, bad conversation. I'm not going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> it's always going to be the other person. When you have a job, Tony works extremely hard i'm sorry y'all i just feel like there's crumbs i don't see them but i feel them but um tony works extremely hard they take buku money out of her check for health care so if there's a way for me to get something covered it's gonna get covered you know um it's we're we're leaning towards the end of the year we've met our deductible which is crazy y'all know hmo's got deductibles now i might gonna get into health care but anyway we paid our deductible I'm like a couple of hundred dollars away from fulfilling my out of pocket. Anybody that knows anything about insurance, if you don't, let me break something down to you. If you pay your deductible and out of pocket, any other medical coverage is covered at 100%. You have no out of pocket. Basically, basically you've maxed out everything. They're supposed to cover 100% of covered benefits. What I'm getting done is a covered benefit. So I'm definitely pushing for things to hurry up. So when we get in the thick of things, we don't have to pay for anything out of pocket. Um, I don't know if that's why people are being difficult on the insurance end or not. I just don't know. But at, at, to the point where I had to call her and be like, listen, y'all need to uh, figure this out. Like I was kind of at my wits end. I wasn't cussing. I wasn't yelling. But I was extremely firm and assertive that I'm not gonna be doing any more legwork. Y'all need to do it. It needs to be covered, get it covered type of situation. After all that, she was like, oh yeah, you know, we do need to have it covered. Like, girl, stop. Anyway, that's that's where we are. We are kind of at a standstill between the insurance and the doctor's office with getting this prior authorization, get them to cover these injections so we don't have an out-of-pocket for it. <clears throat> Supposedly, I will be calling as soon as we get back home on Thursday supposedly um the process has already started and it's pending with the insurance company so i'll follow up with the insurance company and make sure they have everything that i'm going to follow up with the doctor's office i'm not supposed to be doing any legwork but i just need to make sure this gets done like come on so that's been kind of stressful which is why i think tony despite the fact that you know she's like a super bomb a1 spouse i think that's why she's being you know so sweet and caring and trying to take my mind off of things that are going on just because neither one of us want me to get into a negative headspace, but girl, let's go ahead and open up one of these boxes. Let's see. So I think I want to do this one. We'll open this one together and see what's in it. Okay, y'all. So I just looked at the invoice that came with it. And this is my July box. If you are not familiar with Brown Sugar Box, I have a whole playlist. It's basically a black owned business and they have a subscription box that caters to black women. If you are interested in this box after seeing what I have or after watching the playlist, I will link the playlist in the description box. I do have a referral code. It's not an affiliate link. I don't make any money off of doing my reviews or speaking about Lizzie and Liv or the Brown Sugar Box. I just get a discount if you order it through my link and you'll get a discount. So it's not an affiliate link. I do not get paid. Let's go ahead and get into this box. It's 40, $49, let me see. Yes, yeah, $49, sorry I had to look at the invoice real quick. Once a month, 
And I will say that everything I usually get out the brown sugar box, not usually, like there's two things I did not use and I've been getting this service for like, I wanna say a year. There are two things I didn't use. Other than that, I use everything. They always come chow with t-shirts and all kind of stuff. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get up. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. But like I got this. Basically, it's a laptop protector, but I put all my paperwork in there as well as, well as my laptop and my little portable mouse. Whenever we travel and I want to get some editing done, like it's super great quality. It's big as I don't know what, so it fits paperwork and my book and this, so just really good quality. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. First thing I always get is the Jet Magazine. I call it Jet because like... First of all, it's the Jet Magazine. I don't care what nobody say. Just because, oh, she's so pretty. The shape of the magazine is super little. And it always tells you, like, literally what's in the box. Normally, I don't do this when I open my box. Because I want to be surprised and take the items out along with my viewers. But since we're doing a vlog style, girl, yes. Mini fan. Since I'm with y'all, I'm going to do it this way and just look to see what they have in there. We have a poncho, which I might not get that much use out of because I live in California. But good to have. The shade is real. Girl, love that shirt. Let your soul glow. I wonder which one I got. Hopefully, I got the shade one because that suits me. And this is Glow Girl Body Shimmer. Okay, okay. And I'm just here for the fan. Child, I'm about to be so bougie and walk around with this fully charged at all times. I pay $49 and the value of the things in this box are $147. So the box kind of pays for itself. I love to support black owned businesses. You know, this is something that a lot of the times, like, I don't want to name any names, but those bags that the girls get with the makeup, I used to, you know, subscribe to those and I would never get anything that matched my skin tone or that was geared towards me, I'll just say that. So when I saw this box and found that it was geared for people like me and skin complexions and tones like me, I was like, oh, I'm here for it. Let's go ahead and open this up. I wanna see what color fan I got. I'm about to wear this out regardless. Let me open this up. Did I get blue? Womp, womp, womp. Oh, no, this is a um, battery. Did I get green? Child, the Lord is looking out if this is green, my favorite color. Hold on, I gotta push y'all down for a second. Child, why is it green, my favorite color, and it is strong? I'm about to be going everywhere with this. Oh, I love it. This is gonna, I'm gonna get some use out of this. But this comes with like a little stand and you can charge it um with a usb which is good because i don't that big blue thing i pulled out the battery literally is this big i don't know what size battery that is so i don't want it to run out but definitely we'll be getting some use out of this i think this is the body shimmer i need to have a camera crew y'all because ooh, let me see body shimmer queen coconut i heard that and y'all know I love me some coconut. I had a body shimmer. I forgot the brand it was, but it was really cute. Um, you know, in the summertime when you're wearing your little outfits or you go to a pool party or whatnot. Not if you want to get in the water, sis. But if you just want to go to look cute, when you put on a little bit of lotion, put this on it like around your chest area, neck area. I wouldn't put this all over. But just, you know, in the spots you want to shimmer. This is a grip, though. This will probably last me a lifetime because usually when you use things like this, you don't need a lot. But very cute, very cute. Y'all, and I got the shirt. The shade is real. I love this. I'm gonna get so much use out of this shirt. I normally, y'all know I don't like little tank tops. I don't like showing my arms, but I will definitely wear this. This is also would be cute if you're gonna work out in it. Or just throw in some nice little, you know, jean shorts. This is so cute. I love it. You always get t-shirts in the brown sugar box. Here's another one. Oh, I think everyone got the same two shirts. Okay. I'm not even gonna pull this one out. And then here's the poncho. This is heavy, child. This is a heavy poncho. I'm not even gonna open this cause I don't even wanna spend time folding it back up. But we saw it in the book. I probably won't get that much use out of it cause I live in California. And when it rains, I don't leave the house, okay? 
but appreciate it's always good to have something like this like if we're trying to possibly maybe plan a trip to florida to go to disney world and depending on when it rains i heard um if you've ever been to florida i used to live in miami many years ago and it would just rain and drop of a dime for like 15 minutes and then the sun will come out and it's like super bipolar weather so i'm gonna hold on to this before usually when i get stuff i don't think i'm gonna use i'll give it away to someone but i'm gonna hold on to this because i really think we're going to be making that trip next year to florida and yeah i'm not trying to get my hair wet so this will come in handy if we do go to the park but this was a good box got me two t-shirts i love i probably gone i wish i was at home i would wash this so i could wear it today but i really love this shirt and again y'all but the fan takes the cake, child. Y'all gonna be sick of me. I'm gonna be up in the grocery store, girl, just. Oh, hi. Are the bananas on sale? Strawberries? Can I have two avocados, please?